head is yeah. if you think okay so so when he was killed frankie de chico right you you yeah. hear a story right it was a sunday there was a ton of people at the club yeah right there was 40 50 people at the club well where was john Gotti when there was 40 or 50 people there that's what these guys did you walk down the street there's 20 old guys on the sidewalk you know what I mean? It's yeah. it wasn't it. You know, it was he was trying to bring Cosa Nostra back to a different time. That was Gotti's mistake, not realizing yeah. like, hey, you know, this isn't where. If you look at the old pictures at when of the Ravenite, they were parked on the sidewalk. They were having yeah. meetings outside. <laughs> they're shaking each other's hands. They're, they're hugging on the curb. Them. Right. You know. But what about? You know, and the worst thing is that he got caught on tape, Gotti, which is great. But what about every other boss before him? He got caught on tape. So I guess Tony Ducks and Fat Tony and Paul Castellano and Ralph Scopo and Jerry Lang, they all were pieces of shit for running their mouth because they all got caught talking. Every one of them. He just did what they did, and he paid for it. Good point. Good point. <clears throat> Yeah. All right. We have Ryan here. He just came over, my partner Ryan. And if he chimes, he's from that area, from Ozone Park in the Howard Beach area. So he has a take on it too. Him, uh, maybe if he wants I, I, to. Uh, I have him screwed, and Ryan's always welcome. Yeah. He ordered all the captains, uh, most of the main guys, to come down to Mulberry Street to see him. <laughs> now, when they came down and they were squawking, the FBI even said it. They were filming. Minnesota. They not guys. They no. never even knew or in those in Austria made guys. Now they had their names, their plates, their this, their that. And they were, that was another tremendous. He put it on, he gave it to them on a silver platter. Jesus. And everybody was recognized. They made these charts. And after a while, they investigated everybody they saw there and found out this guy's a made guy, this guy's a captain. He gave it to my silver platter. So they, and I knew that was wrong. Everybody did. But um, you couldn't change his mind. He wanted to do what he wanted to do. And you can't argue with the boss. Well, it's interesting because good leaders accept feedback. And I can't imagine you were good with it. But you're right. It's your boss is the boss. Um, how about business owners, right? Talk a little bit about business. How can they start to see cracks in their business? Obviously, a little different than a mob. But what do you look out for, or or you're you're in business now, you're doing media. What do you look out for now, being in the life, but now being in legitimate life? What are some things to look out for when you're running a business to make sure those cracks don't happen? Listen, I always said this: don't look at who you are, um, and what you say. Yeah. Look at who you're not. I'm not a, Believe it or not, I thought this was great business advice. Tech guy, I'm not a camera guy. Yeah. So I think everybody in their business has to watch and put a good team around them. No matter what kind of business, it doesn't really matter whether it's construction, Hollywood, whatever you do, yeah. you need good people around you, smart, Correct. Um, intelligent people. And uh, you got to watch that. You got to watch that. When you come in in the morning, a lot of people, they'll go pray, and they should. But right after you're done praying, you should go to that corporate paper. I got a corporate paper on, on the wall, and do the sign of the cross and pray to that. Take care of that corporation. The best that, part of that is personal, in your opinion. Um, I, believe it or not, and again, uh, hey, Ryan. Uh, What's up? Not, I was right? looking to, um, to go to the business angle, and I really wanted to get Sammy's feedback. I actually thought that was great advice uh, in terms of business. I tend to try to, you know, do everything, and then I realize I can't do a lot of things. You got to kind of hire people. Mm -hmm. like you can't do like like uh, Joe. He can't even turn on a camera, so he needs Ryan and BK uh, Skip. <laughs> uh, so, so I think I think Joe is listening, and uh, I, I I think he took a. Uh, Sammy's advice. Okay, so I set up a thumbnail, okay, on my own. <laughs> I put up hashtags and I scheduled 
alive. Wow. I'm definitely the weakest link. Yeah. Uh, I love it. I love but it. it's funny that you said that because, you know, with the new channel we're starting, I'm like telling him, like, bro, we're just going to have to shell out 200 Fazuls. Like we, I talked to you about it. Or we're going to yeah, yeah, we gotta get a cameraman. We got to do this rather than try to do everything on our own. Right. Might as well just pay the money now. Hopefully, we'll get it back in the long run. So exactly, exactly. Um, I don't understand the question. So, 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 like when you you decided to collaborate with the government, um, you know how much of it was business? Meaning, you know what, this guy screwed me. I don't care for him. Yeah, I was really interested to find out what what he felt was his business or personal by uh, rolling on John. Yeah, and, I wish you would have went further with that. Do it. It's tricky, you know. Yeah. I feel right. You're right. I could have, I could have, there were parts that I felt I could have dug deeper. Um, again, a little bit. Um, you see me sweating up a storm. I have COVID. Uh, <laughs> you, could tell, you, you could tell he's not well. Uh, you know, in interviews, you want to allow the people to expand. The mm -hmm. fact that he did the story of, um, like, anyway, he, he deep dived on two parts of the story, which I was very happy with. Uh, but you're, you're you're right, Ryan. That's good feedback. I got to do. Was it more personal because you felt like he put you at risk? You put your family at risk. Like how much of it was business and how much of it was personal, in your opinion? No, go to no shit to me. Everything is personal. Business is bullshit. It's a business. Yeah. They come and go. Yeah. You could have a pizzeria for two, three years, yeah. and you could have a car. If you're making money, you can you can own a car dealership five years later. It's a whole different business. So business is just come and go. Goza Nostra is there's one way in and there's one way out. When you come in, you walk in. When you go out, you go out feet first, dead. So Goza Nostra is the priority for me all the time. So of course I, I take care of my business as well, but yeah, got it. That, that actually makes great sense. And and if Goza Nostra betrays you or whatever. Uh Ryan, what do you think of that answer? He's in a I position to as like saying, hey, you know what? This wasn't business. I own a movie theater one day. I own a drywall business the next. But you know what? Cosa Nostra's core, right? But yet he rolled. What, what do you think of that? What do you think of this? <laughs> yeah. He, I, you know what? He's, he stays pretty consistent with that too. Like yeah. he still sounds like he puts that like. Like he's still at, in. Yeah. Yeah. Like he's not out. Like one way in and.